when you want to make an oscillator that has to operate on a low voltage. For instance, with a solar cell or two from these solar cells in series, they uh, produce approximately 0 0.8 volts and two of them 1.6 volts. Uh, you need an oscillator that has uh, the properties to oscillate on a low uh, supply voltage. And in this video I want to show uh, an oscillator that operates on such a low uh, supply voltage, one up to three volts approximately. This is how it was made. And I have to say it's only a demo video. Demo video. Uh, the waveform is not very pure, but for people that like to do experiments, perhaps this is a starting point where all the experiments uh, start and you can find your own way to develop a circuit that operates on such a low voltage. The way to success is always this. Here's a coil. It could be a coil on uh, let's say 5 megahertz, but it can also be a coil on um, 200 hertz or so. Uh, you can make such a coil by means of a reversed uh, power supply transformer. And in all cases uh, the signal is coupled back from the collector lead to the base from the transistor in the right phase um, and in such a way that the whole circuit starts to oscillate. To make it oscillating, this is very important, potentiometer here to set the transistor to its working point. That was also in the preceding video. And this is a very universal circuit, that's why I published this uh, circuit. It not only works on low voltages, but it almost always works also on uh, uh, totally uh, different frequencies. Here you see the waveform from the circuit at this moment. Now it operates on 1 volt or 0 0.9 volts. The waveform is not very pure and uh, that's one of the problems when you want to work, work on uh, low supply voltages. I raise the voltage now somewhat. 3.4 volts and still the waveform is not pure but it could be usable. And when you want to study uh, this part of the electronics, perhaps you can find circuits and adaptations to this circuit where you have a proper waveform, a good waveform. It's possible, I'm, I'm sure. You see the emitter resistor consisting of two resistors. The reason is that it is experimental, 29 ohms and 100 ohms. This capacitor from 1 nanofarad uh, gives uh, a somewhat better sine wave. When you uh, disconnect it, you will find that the sine wave gets more deteriorated. And when you connect a capacitor here, parallel to this resistor, the amplification will raise. And that also causes a lot of effects, uh, especially deterioration from the waveform. Uh, this works on approximately 5 MHz, because I've used this coil, it's a fried core. But uh, like I told earlier, this is a more or less universal circuit to get all kinds of coils into oscillation, uh, but the waveform that you will find cannot be predicted. 
it depends a lot on uh, all the different properties from the electronic components. 